I'll be using turkey meat for today's protein. I've already washed this and it's inside the pot already. Then I'll add in grated onions. I add in salt. I add in chicken seasoning. I add in thyme leaves, white pepper, and I'll mix all this in to combine. Feel free to add any spice of your choice, but we need to season this meat very well because we'll be using the stock for this coconut rice. I wouldn't be adding water to this now. I'll cover and allow it simmer for 10 minutes before coming back to it. 10 minutes later, this has generated its own fluid which will help marinate the turkey mix. Then I give it a stir. I add in water to help cook it till tender. The water is almost the same level with the meat. I give it another stir. I cover this and let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes. Here I have garlic and ginger. I pour it into the blender. You can grate yours. And I have shambo here. We'll not be using tomato for this. We don't want to alter the taste of the coconut rice. I've washed and removed the seeds from the shambo, the paprika peppers. I am adding this so that the coconut rice will not be all white. It will give it some color. And I'll blend this very smooth. The turkey meat is tender enough. I will send them mine to the oven to grill. You can use your air fryer. You can fry yours. We want a very crispy turkey meat for this coconut rice. This is the mixed bell peppers, the red and the green bell peppers. I always remove the seeds. These bell peppers will add flavor and color to your coconut rice. So you can cut it into any shapes or sizes you want. We'll be using it to finish up the recipe at the end. I also cut the onions. I'll be using long grain rice for this and I wouldn't be parboiling it. I'll just wash it with cold water about two to three times. I'll drain out the water. Add more cold water and wash it again. Cooking oil. It will be best if you use coconut oil, but if you can't get coconut oil, you can use any other oil available to you or any other oil of your choice. The oil is heated a little bit. I go in with the chopped onions. I stir fry this for two minutes on medium heat. I want the onions to release its sweetness. Two minutes later, I add in the blended shambo, the paprika peppers with the garlic and the ginger. And I stir in. I'm going to allow this fry for five minutes. This is five minutes later of frying this on medium heat. Please keep an eye on it so that it doesn't burn. Now I add in two chicken seasoning cubes. I break it in. No one wants to be chewing on your seasoning cubes. I add in salt curry powder 
and I stir in. I wouldn't be doing too much. Coconut rice doesn't require too much so that you don't alter the original taste of the coconuts. And remember, we already seasoned the turkey meat and we'll be adding the stock. Your seasoning and your salt should be proportional to the quantity of food you're cooking. If you're not sure, you add in little per time and adjust as you cook along. One very nice secret to your coconut rice is your coconut juice. The creamier the juice, the better the coconut rice. So we are adding in the coconut juice now. And I also add in some of the meat stock, the turkey meat stock we used earlier on. We'll stir in both to mix well. Now we add in the washed rice. I didn't parboil this because coconut rice tends to be soggy and mushy. And I don't want this for this recipe. And I stir in, look at our juicy coconut milk. At this point, I'll have to taste for the salt and seasoning. Mine came out perfect. You can go ahead and adjust yours if need be. If you observe, the water is slightly above the rice. That way it wouldn't be soggy and it wouldn't be mushy. Now I'll cover this with a foil paper. This foil paper helps lock in moisture and it will prevent it from going soggy. Now we are going to cover the lid of the pot and I'll get back to it in 10 to 15 minutes. Please keep an eye on it to avoid it burning. Let's check on the rice 10 minutes later. So I observe the water is almost dry, but the rice is still a little bit hard. So I'll add a little bit water, just a little to help soften the rice further. I'll give it a little stir. To loosen up the rice and activate the water now I'm cooking this on the lowest heat of my gas burner I cover it back with the foil paper for five more minutes the steam will help the rice to get soft five minutes later you can see the steam now give this a quick stir you see how the rice has risen and is not soggy nor mushy here comes our final ingredients the mixed bell peppers and some chopped onions I'll mix all this in together. The heat in the pot is what I'll be using to cook this. I wouldn't be covering the pot anymore. Remember that my pot is on the lowest heat of my gas cooker at this point. So I'm going to mix this in for about a minute or so. Please, if you've watched till this point, please like this video. Please also share this video. And if you've not subscribed, please hit on the subscription button. Thank you very much. Our rice is ready now. Let's go ahead and serve it with the grilled turkey meat from the oven. Real talking meat is back from the oven. Our meal is ready. Try this recipe, you will definitely enjoy it. Thank you for watching.